Wow! I love your glasses, baby girl. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I thought I would start this vlog with a little uh, get ready with me. I don't know why but I am just really in the mood for makeup at the minute. I feel like I'm just missing it and not even necessarily doing like really colourful makeup looks like I used to do. I'm even just missing like everyday simple kind of makeup. So I've treated myself to a few new products <laughs> recently. I'm literally obsessed with TikTok shop at the minute. I keep buying little bits off there and I genuinely I'm getting a little bit obsessed so I need to slow down a little bit but it's just getting me excited and just wanting to try new makeup products again. I've not bought loads of new things but I have got a few little bits to try. <laughs> so yeah I thought I would just sit down and do my makeup today. I'm thinking of doing like a nice simple pink spring kind of makeup look. It's not often I actually get to sit down and properly do my makeup nowadays but Deck has taken Ali out to do some shopping so I'm going to take this opportunity to actually sit down and properly do makeup. But yeah, I'm thinking like a nice pastel pink kind of eye to go with my dress. Even though this isn't pastel, it's bright pink. I don't want bright pink on my eyes. But yeah, I'm gonna go quite simple, but just try and do like glowy spring kind of makeup. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I'm just gonna use my Pink Honey Super Hold Glue. I'm actually nearly out of this. I need to get some more. But yeah, we are actually going out today for our friend's birthday. It's gonna be mocktails for me, obviously. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd actually have the energy to go out because I have been kind of struggling recently. I think the excitement of just sitting down and doing my makeup is giving me the energy to go out. I hope I have a good brow day today because it's always on the days when I'm actually wanting them to look nice that they look awful. <laughs> and then the days where I'm not really going anywhere, that's when they turn out nice. <laughs> So far so good. I feel like I've got the shape of them nice with the glue. I'm gonna fill my brows in a little bit using the P. Louise Brow Paint. This is in the shade Gingerbread Latte. And then I'm just using a thin angled brush as well. I'm just gonna try and put in a few extra brow hairs. I don't actually need to fill them in too much. This is probably one of my favorite brow products. I love this brow paint. We're off to a good start, it's going well. <laughs> Just remembered I haven't cleaned up around the brows though, so I'm gonna quickly do that before I end up ruining the rest of my makeup. I'm literally using a baby wipe to do this. <laughs> So I'm just gonna wipe off any extra glue from around my brows. I usually end up ruining them doing this to be fair because I either don't take off enough glue and it ends up making my foundation go really weird or I end up getting too close to the brows and unsticking them. <laughs> but hopefully today I've done it okay. I'm just gonna use my P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2 to carve out my brows. I need to start taking better care of my makeup brushes instead of just throwing them into a makeup bag because my brush has gone a little bit weird now. And this is one that I need to stay flat because it's the one I carve my brows out with. See, I still didn't manage to take off enough of that glue because it's gone a little bit weird under there, but I'm not going to change it. It's not too noticeable. <laughs> I'm just going to take what's ever left of that P. Louise base as well. And I'm just going to put that onto my lid. I'm not going to use too much though because I am going to go in with a coloured base as well. I just don't like to waste what I've already got. I was going to use some of the P. Louise coloured bases. I was going to use a couple of the pink ones. These are Poppin' Pink and Winter Rose. I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to use this blush from Made by Mitchell in the shade 
shade Sweet Cheeks. I think I'm going to use this. I feel like it just matches my dress really well. And even though it's not an eye base, they're just really versatile. So yeah, I think I'm going to use this. I'm literally going really simple on the eyes, so I don't need anything too drastic. So I'm just going in lightly with this and putting it all over my lid. I've put it onto the back of my hand and then I'm just picking it up with my brush off my hand just so that it's not as intense. But yeah, like I said, I'm just wanting like nice, simple spring makeup today. So I'm trying not to make it go too dramatic. <laughs> so I'm then going to set that in place with some shadow and I'm going to use my Beauty Bay Pastels palette. I'm going to use the deeper shade of pink from it. I'm just going to press that over the top. And then just to blend that out so it's not as harsh, even though it's blended out all right to be fair, I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Pastel Rose Palette. I'm just going to go in with this really pale pastel pink shade. decide whether to keep it nice and simple like that or whether to add some shimmer or not. I think I might just do my base makeup and then come back to the eyes and decide if I want to add anything else. I've already done my skincare, I've already moisturised. I'm actually doing really well at keeping up with like a little basic skincare routine at the minute. So I'm quite proud of myself because I am usually rubbish. So the fact that I have actually been consistently doing like a little skincare routine, I feel quite proud of myself. <laughs> I've been keeping up with it for like well over a month now as well so I'm doing well and I feel like I'm actually going to stick to it now. I also think I might make it a little bit less basic as well. I feel like I need to start adding some other bits into it now. I've literally just been using is it hyaluronic acid and moisturiser and I've been using them daily and I can definitely tell a difference in my skin so I feel like I need to start adding a few extra little bits as well but I am just rubbish with skincare so I haven't got a clue. I feel like it's something I'm actually gonna look into and make my routine a little bit less basic. So yeah, I've already moisturised and now I'm gonna go in with a primer. So this is something new. I've never actually tried this. I've never even tried this brand before, but I've literally been seeing it all over TikTok, so I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> so this is by The Beauty Crop and it's their We Cherie Gripping Primer. I think that's how you say it. I am just literally going off what I've heard people saying on TikTok. But yeah, it says it's a hydrating, gripping primer. I don't know how much of this you meant to use. <laughs> That actually feels quite nice to be fair. I thought it was going to be like really sticky to rub in, but it wasn't. It was just like, kind of like a moisturiser. But yeah, that feels quite nice. So, so far so good. I'm also trying out a new foundation today. This is the Iconic London Super Smoother blurring skin tint. So if my makeup ends up looking awful, I won't know whether it's the primer or the foundation. I'm wanting like super glowy skin, so hopefully this is gonna look nice. See, I've done it again. It's gone a little bit weird around my eyebrows. Why do I just not wipe it off properly? <laughs> so far, so good. I feel like that's actually quite a nice colour for me as well. I got it in the shade Neutral Light. I like that it's really lightweight and it just kind of evens out your skin tone a little bit. And then going in with concealer, I actually need to get a new concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I actually do quite like this concealer. I haven't used it in ages. I also really like the LA Girl foundation as well. That used to be one of my favourites. I'm just going in with a little bit more because I feel like I need a little bit extra coverage. It's not like the highest coverage concealer, but it is quite nice and it's nice and brightening as well. I'm going to use the Peaches and Cream Cream Contour. And I'm going to use this to bronze my face up a little bit. I don't really contour, it's literally to give my face a little bit more colour. <laughs> I use it on like a big stippling brush. I've ordered the Pink Honey 
face frosting bff face frosting i think it's called and i was hoping that that was going to be here today but it's not so i'm just going to use this instead <laughs> literally so many people going about the pink honey one so i'm so excited to try it i think this is one of my favorite steps because it kind of just brings a little bit more life to my face again <laughs> my skin's looking really nice at the minute i'm liking all these products that i've used together and then i'm going to go in with the sweet cheeks blush again and i'm going to use this as my cream blush i'm putting it onto my hand again because i don't want it to be too intense i'm kind of gonna like blend it into the eyeshadow a little bit as well i don't know if i'll end up regretting that but <laughs> i'm gonna go with it i kind of went off using a beauty blender for a while i was literally sticking to just brushes but i feel like it's really helping today to blend everything in together it's kind of just like melting everything together so i might be getting back on the beauty blender hype <laughs> i'm gonna powder my face with a new powder as well so i've got this from the beauty crop and it's their vitamin babe setting powder i got this in the shade pink and i've never used a pink setting powder before so i hope that this is nice <laughs> i think it's meant to be more brightening to use a pink powder under the eyes might be completely wrong about that but i've just been seeing a lot of people using it and it does look really nice so i thought i would give it a go i think i'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender i know everyone's been using powder puffs recently but i don't have one at the minute i am gonna get one to try because they do look really good so i think i've officially found a new favorite powder i love that i mean i've not really tried many powders to be fair i usually stick to the same one i do really like that i think it looks really nice i am going to go in with a brush and kind of set the rest of my face as well i don't know if you're supposed to do that with pink powder i love that i feel like it's blurred my skin <laughs> i feel like i definitely need to try more products from the beauty crop because both of these i really like at the minute i'm gonna use my anastasia beverly hills bronzer in the shade saddle it is a little bit dark for me so i just go in quite lightly with it <laughs> I think for blush, because I don't really have any matte pink blushes at the minute, I think I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow that I used. I'm going to go in real lightly and use this as my blusher. I'm going to use a pink kind of highlight as well. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Pink Heart. I need a little brush for my inner corner highlight, but I don't seem to have brought one down with me. And I am too lazy to go upstairs and get one. <laughs> so I'm gonna just try and wing it with this bigger brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of that highlight in my inner corner. I don't think I'm gonna add a shimmer to the eyes like I was at debating. I think I'm just gonna keep them as they are. I've recently bought this iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray as well. I got this in the original shade. They do a different one as well, which is like a darker bronzy kind of color. And I think I've had that one before and I think I actually preferred that one. This one does give a nice glow, but I feel like I'll probably get the darker one next time. But yeah, I'm just gonna spray this everywhere and just try and give myself a little bit of a glow. <laughs> Spray it on my body as well. I am usually not a fan of my base makeup. I feel like I'm usually a little bit rubbish at doing it, but I am quite liking how my base is looking. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. This is an e.l.f. mascara. It's the Big Mood mascara, I think, in the shade Deep Brown, so it's a brown mascara. I can't decide if I'm gonna go in with lashes or not. I feel like I want to, but I feel like it'll keep it nice and simple if I don't. I might just skip them for a change and just do a few layers of mascara and see how we get on with that. This is flaking everywhere. <laughs> not a massive fan of this mascara 
but it's the only one I've got at the minute, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm just gonna keep it with mascara. I don't think I'm gonna add any lashes. I feel like it just keeps it nice and fresh looking without. So for lips, I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe lip liner in the shade Chippy, I think. I don't know if that's a bad choice. <laughs> so rubbish with choosing what lip liner to use i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the blush that's better okay that's looking a lot better now <laughs> i feel like i need a little bit of gloss as well so i'm gonna use my peaches and cream lip gloss in the shade babe so that's my makeup finished i feel like my base is looking uh, really nice it's definitely like a really nice spring kind of base because it's not too heavy but it's also got a tiny little bit of coverage as well so i'm kind of loving the new bits that i bought <laughs> especially that powder i feel like the powder's made my face look really nice so yeah i am loving that i feel like this is definitely going to be like my go-to spring makeup at the minute the rest of this vlog is just going to be a few little bits that i've filmed over the past couple of weeks so there's a little bit from easter a little bit from when we went to butlins as well i've just been filming little bits here and there there's not a lot because i've not really been feeling it too good over over the past few weeks. I am feeling a little bit better now. I think it's because I've had a low iron and I've been put on iron tablets now. So I feel like they're starting to kick in a little bit and I'm feeling a little bit less strained. But yeah, over the past few weeks, I just filmed a little bit here and there when I wasn't feeling too bad. So yeah, it's mainly Easter, Butlins, and I thought I would add them in at the end of this video. So yeah, I hope you like the rest of the video. <laughs> wow. do Ali's Easter box ready for Sunday. I got this crate last year from Etsy. I absolutely love it. It's such a good quality and it's just something she's going to be able to keep forever. I'm really hoping I can get one the same if not very similar for baby boy next year. It's just adorable. I love it. It's all engraved. It just makes it feel even better quality. And then this is all the stuff I've somehow got to fit into it. <laughs> so first of all I've got some new muslin cloths. I say it all the time but she's just obsessed with them so i thought i'd get some new ones i just love a pattern of these they're very spring appropriate so i thought i'd pick these up they're from sainsbury's it's eight pound for two and they're the extra large ones so these are his favorites to get obviously i've got some chocolate i've not got too much because she's already gonna have loads from everybody else as well so i've just got a little smarties easter egg and then just some chocolate lollies to go with it as well i always like to get her a little book so i've got this peppa pig one she's literally obsessed with pepper at the minute so she is gonna love this and then sticking with the pepper pig theme i've got these little pepper pig clogs as well she is honestly going to absolutely love these she loves her crocs she literally wants to wear them all the time so the fact that these are pepper pig she is going to lose her mind <laughs> they're literally eight pound from asda so a bargain and again i just like the color of these because they're very spring summer appropriate so i've got a little new new pair of shoes and then I've just got this little dress as well from H&M. I have shown this in a haul before because I think I bought it like last month in preparation for Easter. I just think the pattern on it's really cute and definitely Easter appropriate. So hopefully she doesn't want to wear these together because that is not a vibe. They definitely do not match but I feel like she's definitely going to want to just wear them both. And then the last thing I've got to go in the box is a few bath bombs from Lush. I've decided I want to start making it a little tradition where I get a bath bombs for like her Easter box, her Christmas Eve box. I got her some for a birthday as well and she loved them. So yeah, I'm going to make it a little tradition and I've got a few to put in here. So I'll try and show you what I've got her, even though this is going to be a little bit messy. <laughs> so this is an Easter egg bath bomb. Literally as soon as you open this box, you can smell everything and it smells so nice. I then got a little carrot. How cute is that? I think this is a bubble.
blah 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 and then i just got a little bunny rabbit i think these are all from the easter collection on lush we do like seasonal collections so yeah i'm pretty sure this is all from the easter collection but yeah i don't know how i'm gonna put these in the box yet i don't know whether to like wrap them up or just put them in like this so yeah i'm gonna try and sort it all out now <laughs> i've actually managed to fit everything in so i'm very happy about that i didn't know if i was going to be able to or not i've wrapped up the bath bombs in tissue paper so they don't get everywhere but yeah i think it looks so cute i can't wait to give her it <laughs> <laughs> which do you want first are oh, your lollies <laughs> yeah <laughs> Peppa Pig! Yeah! Yeah! Say shoes! Like this! Yeah, it's Peppa! Wow, chock chock! Daddy got you a tractor! Ali, it's not ready yet, baby girl. <laughs> You're doing a good job there, Ali. <laughs> Yay! Hey, we're going to Bullins today! No! We are? <coughs> are you excited because we're going to Bullins today? Oh no! Oh no! We are going to Butlins today. We're going to take Ali as a little treat before baby boy comes. So I guess you could probably class this as our baby moon, even though we're going with my grandma as well. <laughs> and I know a lot of people go abroad somewhere really nice and hot for the baby moon, but we, we're going to Butlins. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at that hair. <laughs> what are you doing under there? <laughs> shorts again now that it's warm enough because i found these cycling shorts in my wardrobe i got these from h&m last year and they're so comfy on the bum literally like the stretchiest thing i have and they're not even going to turn it in so i need to see if i've still got these in some more colors because i'm literally gonna wear these to death now <laughs> but yeah i thought i'd just give you a quick little bump up day so this is my 29 week bum I honestly feel like I'm ready to pop. I feel huge. I'm going to redo my nails because these are starting to grow out now. So I thought I would show you my new favourite way of doing my nails at the minute. I have absolutely loved these ones and they were so easy to do. So I've been using these nail foils. These are from Glitter Planet and it's just a floral set. For these nails that I've got on at the minute, I used this one, which is just a nice white floral pattern. And I used a green colour underneath it. But I'm thinking this time I'm going to use one of the 
some more pinky kind of coloured ones. So I'm thinking either this one or maybe this one. And I'm thinking maybe with like a nude colour underneath. So this is a Pure Nails Halo Polish. And it's in the shade Classic. So it's just a nude colour and I thought it'd look really nice with a pink floral pattern over the top. And I've also been using this My Gel 5-in-1 Builder Gel just to strengthen my nails a little bit. I prefer having longer nails. I either use acrylic or whilst I've been pregnant I used poly gel but builder gel is just a lot easier to use whilst I just don't have the energy so I'm going to be using this. And yeah I'll show you how I do the foils because it's just so quick and easy. I feel like the look is so cute and it's just a really nice spring nail. Thank you. 